food as well. Okay, wait, I will ask the question. Wait, <laughs> I got stressed. <laughs> Michelle, yeah. tell us about food. About Just food. tell about food, baby. I love food. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat everything. <laughs> but the reality is, my food is very simple. You know, very, very clean. I do very, very good diet from Monday to Saturday. I eat very, very healthy. But on the Sunday, I eat whatever I want. You know, like pizza, hamburger, uh, Thai food. Sunday is the cheat day. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my food is very simple. You know, a lot of protein, very low carbs. I eat my carbs in the morning. Uh, fruit. Yeah. How many meals per day? Oh, when, when I travel, it's so difficult, you know, to keep diet. Um, maybe like uh, four times per day. Or five. I try, you know. <laughs> but when at home, yes, yeah, five. It's really, you know, if you keep if you keep a good, clean diet, uh, Monday to Saturday, then on Sunday you can you, you you should actually go crazy because your body works like this that it, you should not get used to anything that you eat because if you get used to it, your body does not respond as as it should, and uh, you have to shock it once per week, one every 10 days. So, Jimmy, how many steaks can you have in one day? <laughs> how many steaks? Yeah. I, I eat about, I eat also five times per, per, per day. And you can count on I eat about 300 grams of, say, steak. I can eat steak, I like steak. That's actually my favorite food. Yeah. Especially bison. So, it's count of 300 grams, five, that's one and a half kilo uh, daily. But, but I could eat more, but then, you know, if you exaggerate also that part, then, then you start you're the muscle, yeah, you're getting fatter, that's the problem. What about the chewing part of the food where, let's say, if you really need to eat a lot, you have to chew all the time and you know you can see some of the bodybuilders are like you know they really have developed this part of their body as well <laughs> from, <laughs> from eating a lot and chewing a lot yeah i don't know if I'm that's, I don't know if that's chewing, chewing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that's, that's chewing yes <laughs> so what, what is it then what is it you don't really believe that Chewing? <laughs> yeah, I understand correctly. <laughs> Here we go. Let, let, let him think that it's like that. Don't worry, good. But the real fact is that if you if you start to get into the hormone, you know, a little bit exaggerating those parts, things like the you know things that maybe you wouldn't want it to increase, they start to increase. But but then again, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's general either. Because if you if you lean down, if you're getting, you know, when, when you're getting ready for a competition or you actually, you actually are really shredded, this here, this part of the cheek disappears while this here stays. So a lot of a lot of people that is still on no juice and nothing at all, but they're really shredded, they look like, like they they've been think, chewing all the yes, time. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I have seen videos of some big guys, 150 kg, eating like, I don't know, maybe 3 kg of chicken breast per day, and you need a lot of chewing, you know, you just buy a blender and just put it in the blender and drink it. Yeah, I would, I, I wish I could do that so many times. You know, for, for us, for us, a lot of times the food is, is we, we don't really taste it. It's yeah. fuel. It's fuel for the body. So so many times that we just wish that we had, we had the possibility to just open the stomach, put it right there, and close it. Yeah. Because eating five times per day and when the food is not even tasty, that's hard work. Yeah. So it's discipline. It's discipline. It is. It is discipline. It's and the, the thing is that the one with the most discipline wins, because food. It is way more important than actual workout if you want to get a good body. Way more. How much? 70%. <laughs> 70%, yeah. 70% is food. 
and 20% of course is the, the gym or the activity and the 10% in the supplements, you know, like mm -hmm. the protein shake, omega-3, vitamins. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard some rumors actually. The best omega-3 supplements, you know if they're really the best, if they smell a lot. Is it true or no? Is it smell a lot? I can't, I can't really confirm that. That might, <laughs> yeah. that might also be admitted, but... Yeah. Hmm. It's a good question. You're actually thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. <all this> stuff. <laughs> We're trying to get our omega-3 mostly from... Uh, first of all, we have contact directly with, with a factory that's making our own supplements. So we, it's not out of the market, but we get, you know, the top, the top there. But that doesn't smell very much anyway, because of the capsules. Yeah. So we, we try to get our omega-3 from salmon, from, you know, uh, avocado, from nuts, to get the real fat from real food. Because, you know, you can never, you can never really replace the food. Supplement is supplement. You hear it yourself. It's supplement. Food is king. Always.